Okay, we're on to page two of the 2024 Level 3-4 Math Kangaroo test. Let's start with problem number five. Justin wrote three consecutive four-digit numbers in a row. His sister erased some digits. What are the missing digits from left to right? For example, 213, 214, and 215 are three consecutive three-digit numbers. Okay, so let's highlight some important information. The numbers are consecutive which means they're one after another. So let's look at the numbers themselves and see if we can find a pattern. The ones digit here is seven. The ones digit here is eight. So the ones digit over here has to be nine to keep with the pattern. So let's see if we can replicate this for the other place values. In the tens place, we have a nine. This means that the tens place digit over here will be a nine and here as well. How do I know that? The tens place isn't changing between these three numbers. Otherwise, we would have seen a zero in the ones place. And now we have one complete number over here. So all we have to do is count backwards. So four, eight, nine, nine, four, eight, nine, eight, and four, eight, nine, seven. So let's look for the answer choice that has these digits. We need 489, 4, and 99. Nine. The answer choice that has these is D. So the answer for question number five is D. Number six, Lucia plays, pays $7 for three items. $7 for three items. The cost of each item is different and is a whole number. How much does the most expensive item cost? So another way of saying this problem is, which three different whole numbers add together to make seven? Well, in problems like these, I like to take a smaller problem and see if I can find a pattern. So let's do one plus two plus three. What does that equal? Well, that equals six. Oh, that's only one away from seven. So if we increase any of these numbers by one, we'll get to our target sum of seven. Well, we can't increase one by one because then that would make it two plus two plus three. And we need each cost to be different. We can't increase two by the same, by one for the same reason. So if we increase three by one, we get four. One plus two plus four equals seven. So the most expensive item is $4 as per our equation. That is answer C. Okay, we're on to problem number seven. A cat knocks one block off Felix's construction. What could this construction have looked like before the block was knocked off? So let's highlight some important information. Before the block was knocked off. That's what we want to figure out. And just for reference, this is Felix's construction. This is the block that was knocked off. So we are going to use a strategy for block problems, okay? And it's called the aerial view. So first you have to draw out what you would see from the top if you looked down at Felix's structure over here. So it would be, let's move it over here. It would be this type of shape, like an L but upside down. And one, two, three. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, and then you put numbers in these boxes that say how many blocks are under that box. So for example, over here it's two because one, two. Over here it's one, this one is three, and this one is two. So now we have the aerial view for Felix's construction with one block knocked off. Now, let's draw the aerial constructions for the rest of these answer choices. And remember, we're looking for an answer choice that where one of the numbers is greater by one and none of the other numbers can change. So let's see. So A has a similar shape. It's three up and two across. And now we can fill in the numbers. Two, two, four, and one. Well, as you can see, multiple numbers changed. Like this two stayed the same, but 
the one that was here became a two, the three that was here became a four, the two that was here became a one, like, whoa, a lot of things changed. So A is not the answer. Let's draw B. So there it is. Now we have three, one, four, one. Again, a lot of numbers changed. So this is not the answer. C, um, it has, again, the same shape. We have three blocks over here, one block over here, two blocks over here, and three over here. For the same reason, we're going to kick out C because multiple numbers changed. We only want one to change. Now let's draw D. So there's one block here, two blocks here, three blocks here, and three blocks here. Yet again, multiple numbers changed in this as compared to the original one up here. So D is wrong. Now E, let's look at E. So we drew the aerial view. Okay, now two, one, four, two. Let's check with the original. This two is the same, this one is the same, this two is the same, but the three that was here got upped by one to be a four. So E is the answer. Okay, we're on number eight. Alex has a kangaroo poster on the kitchen wall. The tiles on the whole wall form a regular pattern. How many gray tiles are there behind the poster? And I know on this uh, PDF, it looks white so we're gonna we're gonna call this white instead how many white tiles are there behind the poster so with these type of problems all you have to do is continue the pattern so we can draw these lines out over the kangaroo poster and i know some of you can figure this out without drawing out the lines but it helps to have a visual representation so as you can see, this is a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a seven by six rectangle. Now, this one, let's color. This one will be green. That one will be white, green, green, green. So you can fill in this pattern as shown. And you'll start, and then after you're done, you can just count how many are white and how many are green. Oops, not that one, this one. So I count, let's switch to black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There are 21 white spaces, white spaces. Now, another thing that you could have seen was this is a seven by six post poster, which means there are 42 squares. And as per the pattern, half of them will be green and half of them will be white. So half of 42 is indeed 21. We can check our answer. So the answer is B, 21, for problem number eight. Let's move on to nine. Nine is a big one. Caroline and Tom toss a coin which has a purple side and a green side. If the child gets the purple side, that child advances three steps. If the child gets the green side, that child goes back one step or stays at the starting position. Both started at the space marked with start, and each tossed the coin four times. Caroline advanced to number four, and Tom advanced to number eight. How many times in total did they get the green side of the coin? So, whoa, this is important. This is a problem where it's important to write things down. So, let me get a purple. So, if you get purple, then you go forward three steps. So purple, you go forward three steps. 
if you get green, you go back one step, or if you're already at the starting position, you stay there. And both of them started at start, which is over here. And each of them tossed the coin four times. Caroline got to number four. So um, Caroline, let's make her red. Oop. Let's make Caroline red. And we'll make Tom blue. So Caroline got to number four over here. And Tom got to number eight. And both of them tossed the coin four times. So let's think about this. Try out a few of the answer choices. So let's say in total they got one green side. So let's try that out with Caroline. So we know green means go back one step. So if Caroline got one green, that means the other three times she tossed the coin, she got purple. Well, that can't be true. That means Caroline went forward three times three, which equals nine steps, and went back one, which is eight. Caroline only got to number four. But Tom, Tom did get to number eight. So let's check. Three times three is nine, minus one is eight. So that works for Tom. But that means Caroline got all of her tosses as purple. And that cannot work. So A is gone. But now we know that Tom got one green. So let's write this. Tom, he got three purples. Three purples. And one green. So we know they at least have two green sides in total. That's an important word, let's highlight that, total. So let's try two. So we know that Tom got one green, which means Caroline, as per this answer choice, should have also gotten one green. But we already know that Caroline does not get one green, otherwise she's not at space number four. So that's gone. C, so if Tom got one green, then Caroline got two greens. Uh, to go with the answer choice C. So let's try that out. Two purples, so you go forward six steps and go back two steps. Oh, there we go. That works for Caroline. Now she's at number four. Six minus two equals four. Now we could try the other answer choices, but you'll see that none of them work. If they got four green coins in total, that means, so Tom got one and Caroline got three. That means she went forward three and backwards three. So she would have been at the start. And then with five, that means Caroline got four greens. And then that means she never would have left the start. So the answer is C for number nine. And we're on to number 10. There are five different kinds of fruit in a bowl. Anne likes grapes. Ben likes apples, cherries, grapes, strawberries, and bananas. Cam likes grapes, strawberries, and bananas. Dan likes grapes and bananas. And Eli likes cherries and strawberries. Everyone gets a fruit they like. Everyone gets a different kind of fruit. What does Ben get? Okay, so let's start with some things that are obvious. Anne only likes one type of fruit. So Anne has to get cherries, I mean grapes. So Anne got grapes. Let's write it off to the side. Anne, she got grapes. So that means Ben obviously did not get grapes. Now look at Dan over here. If Anne got grapes, then there's only a, one other fruit that Dan likes. So that means Dan, he got bananas. And that means Ben also did not get bananas. So grapes and bananas are out of the question. Now Cam would only like strawberries. Only one of her favorite fruits is left. So Cam got strawberries. Ben didn't get strawberries either. Now Eli likes cherries and strawberries, but 
but Cam took the strawberries, so that means Eli likes cherries. I'm just gonna draw the cherries here. So that leaves Ben with apples, and you can cross it off next to his name as well. Grapes are gone, bananas are gone, strawberries are gone, cherries are gone. Only the apples are remaining. So the answer is A for problem number 10.